Are you ready? Let's catch the wave. All right, everyone, let's catch the wave. We have our special guest, as promised here, Nikun from 2PM. Hello. Hi, um, Catch the Wave listeners. I'm Nikun from 2PM, and uh, Happy New Year. Yes. And hope you ha- I hope you guys are all healthy. Thank you very much, uh, Nikun, for uh, coming here, despite your very busy schedule. You're very welcome. I know you're traveling all over the place, <laughs> in Thailand, but also in Japan, here yeah. in Korea with, with activities, and uh, it's a busy, busy time of the year. Of course it is. Um, you know, at the end of the year, every, you have to prepare for like you know the end of the year shows mm. and whatnot, and c- upcoming concert, the tour in in Japan yeah. and whatnot. So, it's pretty hectic. And thank you very much for uh, sparing some time and coming in here. I guess it's your first time here at Arirang Radio? Yes, it is. Um, I got a call from this very handsome guy. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Adrian. Who are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's a friend of mine. Uh, he asked me to come on his show, so I was like, okay, why not? Yeah, yeah. well, thank you very much. You're Actually, very we were welcome. introduced by a, a common friend of ours, uh-huh. and we met up, and uh, I mean, I found him very attractive, a very nice person, thank you. and very chill very laid back uh type of singer and i really like that oh, and thank I think you so much that's what the the listeners also want uh-huh. um now our program is culture it's a cultural program uh-huh. so we'll talk about your experience okay here as a foreigner in korea but also as a singer okay with your career uh, we'll keep it simple we'll keep it laid back so if you also want to mention things uh on air for your fans or the people listening feel free is that all right that's fine that's cool. and we'll play of course some of your favorite songs yay songs of 2pm uh, and also his favorite K-pop song in the second hour so everyone stay tuned and if you have any comments any questions for Nikun send them in everyone we'll be waiting for your comments as well on Facebook and also on uh, arirangradio.com now we also have a quiz and we have some some signed CDs here you want to show them to the camera um, yes okay this is um, our signed CD our yep. latest album uh, Grown mm-hmm that was last year, by the way. Yeah. But um, I was signed by um, all of our all of our members. So. That's right. All the signatures look. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so you guys better stay tuned, let's, um, and focus on what, right. we, what we're talking about here. Yeah, focus very well. I'm gonna ask you the question right now, and you can start answering if you already have the answer. Uh, and maybe you will be the lucky winner. We will announce the winners not today, but actually tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you can definitely participate. And we'll do this because we also have the rerun. We have a rerun of this show okay. uh, later on in uh, in the day. So for the people listening to the rerun, you can also participate. Feel free. The question is, when did 2PM make their debut? Wow. When did 2PM make their debut? You're saying wow because it's probably... Many years ago. Many years ago. There you go. Everyone, leave us your answers and you might win this signed CD by 2 p.m. Now, let's continue on with our little interview here. Thank, okay. Thank you for coming in. So, You're welcome. When did you first uh, come to Korea? I came to Korea in um, April, April 11th, 2006. 2006. Yes. I was very young. Yeah. And what brought you here? Um, I was uh, I was casted I was scouted by um, by my, my company JYP mm-hmm. and at um, this um, what do you call it a Korean festival in LA. Oh. So I went to to watch the concert with my friends, and I ran into these people. They were like, "You want to audition for our, our company?" Mm-hmm. And at the time, I didn't know anything about Korea, so I was like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> no." To, like to be honest, I couldn't sing. I couldn't dance. I was not into no. like. This kind of stuff. I'm not at interested. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> so okay, so I gave them my phone number. They kept calling me, so I was like, okay, let's meet up. So we met up at this um, at this cafe, uh-huh. <laughs> and they started setting up their camera huh. right in front of the, right in front of the cafe at like eight like, p.m. What are you doing? And they called me out. They were like, okay, show us something. So what did you do? I sang. I danced. I post in front of the camera <laughs> it was very embarrassing and i don't know why they picked me <laughs> so that was your first experience in front of cameras that's right whoa like i was a really shy boy i like i couldn't even talk in front of the class uh-huh you so. don't look shy right now 
I got better. You got better. Yeah, I got you're used to it. You're uh, professional. I got used to it. <laughs> so LA, you were raised there, or what happened? No, no, because no. Because you're um, from Thailand. Yeah. So I was born in LA, um, raised in Thailand for ten years. Uh, went to study English in in New Zealand for two years because mm -hmm. I was born in Thailand. I I, I grew up speaking Thailand, but Thai. speaking Thai. Yeah. And I went to study English in New Zealand for two years, and then went to high school in um, Rancho Cucamonga. Oh, where is that? <laughs> it's like forty to an hour from from um, from LA. I see. In California. Okay. Yep. We have some listeners over there as well. Hello to our Cali uh, listeners of Catch the Wave. Hello. Do you miss LA? Of course. Yeah. I miss I miss the um, the weather, the blue sky, and you know just it's just cold out here. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very cold. And it's also really warm in Thailand. So how is that going? The winter time here in Korea for you. Um, I actually like cold weather, so um, it's nice, but it gets too cold. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, you know, cold to your bones, like <laughs> you're getting stabbed <laughs> by the cold winds and stuff like that. <laughs> but I like it here. Yeah. I like it. It's okay. It's great. You're getting used to it. Yep. Any skiing going on? I know we have many Thai uh, tourists coming to Korea to check out the ski resorts. Um, I used to, I, I used to snowboard. Uh huh. Um, I haven't done it in like a couple of years. Yes. Yeah. You know, at the end of the year, I've, we're usually really, really busy. Yeah. And be careful too, because you know you don't want to injure yourself. Yeah, it's really easy to get injured out there so mm, be careful if you're on the slopes right now okay <laughs> stay safe tell yeah. us about your activities Nikun I know you're really busy not only as a singer but also as an actor I mean uh, you film dramas uh -huh. you also uh, made some appearances in Japanese dramas uh, is that right yeah yeah and also um, a Chinese drama yeah I just finished uh, filming this Chinese drama yeah uh, last year, which is going to be aired in in July mm -hmm. this this year, so um, it was something new, because I had to act in um, English slash Chinese, and the rest had to act in Chinese. Uh -huh. So I couldn't really understand what they were saying, and they couldn't really understand what I was saying. <laughs> and okay. since I'm so new to acting, it was so <laughs> awkward at first. So I was like, oh, I don't know how this is going to work out. But they were so good, and so like they, oh, they kind they of helped you. yeah, they helped me a lot with like their facial expressions, yeah, 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 their yeah. gestures. Yeah. So the, the hard thing was I had to memorize what they were they were saying, their lines and my lines uh -huh. at the same time. You know? So you had to know like when they stop and yeah. when they finish to like come in. Yeah. Wow. Like, like let's say, they're, it's not in the drama, but let's say they're going to say something and, and your stupid comes out yeah. or something like that. And I had to know like the timing uh, so I can react to what they're saying. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Naturally, right? So it was really, it was really confusing and hard. <laughs> but I, I had a lot of fun and I come out in this... Um, Japanese drama, uh -huh. which is going to be aired on the fourth on the on the fourth okay. at uh, nine p.m. You speak uh, some Japanese as well. My lines are very short. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I come Chinese? out very little. Okay, I just just Camille a cameo. appearances yeah, here yeah, and yeah. there. Um, I come out as um, as a dead person. As a dead person. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm like already dead, and they they tell my story ah. in the in the in the in the drama. I see. So it should be interesting. Yeah. My first dead we'll look role. look forward to your <laughs> acting skills in Japanese, in Chinese, and in English. I'm, I'm so nervous, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to take a little song break, everyone. If you have any comments, please join us on arirangradio.com. And also on Facebook, you can check out our... Uh, wall and you can like us you can share it also with your friends we have nikun from 2 p.m wishing you a beautiful new year uh, what's your favorite song i mean you release so many songs with 2 p.m so many big hits as well which one is maybe the most meaningful one or the song that you would like to share with the listeners today i think the song that best suits today would probably be today marks the first day or yeah. from our latest album grown uh-huh so here Since we go it's January Since it's 1st. January 1st, you know. There you go for you listeners. This is a song by 2 p.m. Today marks the first day. Okay. Oh, 
너는 믿지 마. 더못 참겠어. 좀더 가까이 봐. She w a n a day course no more. Yeah. Nothing ever gonna go m a m with a tax number. Got all them job a b u r s a So she can't no more. It's some time me on all the camp job a c h a n n a Cool be coming noon. I'm good by the Jordan. Baby girl, would you be my girlfriend? That's right. All of it's it is. There we go, everyone. Uh, today <laughs> marks the first day. 오늘부터 1일, 2 right. p.m. From your album, Grown. Yep. All right. A great song, actually. Uh, Happy New Year once again to all the listeners around the world. We have Nikun from 2 p.m. joining us for the first time. It's an exclusive. Thank you very much, Nikun. You're very welcome. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Me too. Um, and Nikun is actually... I would say one of the hottest stars here in Korea. Oh my! He's God, saying no. He's you. saying no. But many fans are really loving your activities. Not only you personally, but the activities of the group 2PM mm -hmm. overall. Um, now, how is it? I mean, tell us about your experience. We have people who want to know more about you, your life. You mentioned this edition or this Korean K-pop festival taking place in LA. Uh huh. Uh, you came to Korea in 2006 for the first time. Right. When did you? debut when were your first activities so i practiced for about two years and we made a debut on well in 2008 mm -hmm. um and that was very nerve-wracking because you know like me as a foreigner too i couldn't really speak korean that well and i had to come on tv shows and talk a lot in korean uh, and it was just menbung yeah menbung uh. Like, I can't find a word in English. It's just main, main boom. Brain That's, freeze. That is the word, you know? <laughs> it's like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't really understand, understand the culture that much. Uh -huh. like, like, let's say I go to, like, um, TV station, right? Yeah. To, to, to do um, a music program. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I would walk past all these, um, like, older, senior, senior um, yeah, singers. singers. Have to say, and I would just smile and just you know just just say hi to them like naturally, but like people expect you to bow like ninety ninety, 90 degrees, degrees right? and you know say it with like a loud voice like Anyaseo. Yeah, you know they do that. They do that here at Arirang. Also, we have you know groups coming yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't even know who you are. Right. They say Anyaseo to everyone. Yeah, and like at, for me as a foreigner, I think that's kind of awkward. Mm -mm, I thought mm -mm. it was kind of awkward. You know, it's like. You barely know this person. Like, why would you, <laughs> why would you, you know, bow ninety degrees to to say hi to them? Yeah. And now I and I started to slowly understand why. It's like the culture of, which is beautiful. I think yeah. it's a beautiful thing. It's like it, you respect, you show respect, you show respect. Yeah. And now you're becoming very Korean, aren't you? I'm very Korean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very Korean. Maybe some people uh, sometimes ask you, "Are you half Korean?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they do, right? Some people don't even know I'm Thai. Really? Yeah, they don't know I'm Thai. They're just like, "Oh, that that guy who speaks Korean kind of strangely." Be because you look, you look quite Korean too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. That, that's what Thai people say. Uh, they Thai, say that? Thai people think I'm Korean too. <laughs> Some Thai people, they're like that Korean singer who speaks weird Thai, and I'm in Korea. I'm like that Korean singer who speaks weird Korean. Korean. So where are you? Like uh, in between two chairs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, kind of, yeah, it's funny. It's, hmm. it's a, yeah, it's 
I don't know. It's entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about, I mean, when you first got here, so you were here in 2006, you uh -huh. had about two years of Practice. training, uh -huh, training. Uh, with JYP. Yeah, right. Um, and how was that experience? How was the Korean culture welcoming you? Um, Did you have any shocks, any problems beyond the language? Uh, I didn't have like a that big of a shock mm -hmm. because I was raised in a in a, an Asian country anyway. But one thing that I found that was kind of strange was uh, the first time I went to um, a restaurant in Korea. Okay, we sat down, and w before even asking for the menu, they brought out all these food everywhere, right? And Dishes. I'm like. We didn't order this. Yeah, like, how did they know it's my first time here? Are they welcoming me? <laughs> so, so we started eating the food, right? And they're just standing there waiting for us to order. We and I didn't know. So I was like, "What is that lady doing here?" You know, like uh -huh. she's just waiting uh -huh. for me. She's watching me eat. It's like you haven't ordered yet. So I was like, ah. "Oh, so that's the culture." So that you, you, they give you the panchan and and yeah. there's the side dishes, you know, and then you have to order the main dish. So I was like, oh, okay. And what What do you like best uh, here when you go to a restaurant? Um, the first The first dish I had was bulgogi. Uh huh. Um, and then it's uh, basically barbecue beef. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the the thing that I like the most is samgyeopsal, which is the the pork barbecue pork. Yeah. You like that still now? Yeah. You love it. Do you use some? Do you yeah like yeah put yeah, it yeah. In I, I put it in the the vegetable and, and I roll it up and oh my god! It's so what yummy. do you like to put inside? I mean, give us some details. Okay. The fans are like, so how do you make a nikun sam? <laughs> <laughs> so lettuce. Uh, um, I put in the meat, um, a ball of rice, uh -huh. some um, garlic, yeah, some chili, uh -huh. <laughs> kimchi. <laughs> And a little bit of samjang. Uh huh. And then I just rolled up and oh my Put god, it. I'm mm. hungry now. It's really good. It's mm. really good. Mm. That's uh, that's really a nice recommendation here. <laughs> um, beyond food, is there anything that surprised you? You talked about respect about elders, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Is there anything that you like about Korean culture, or that you experienced here, that you enjoyed, or even still today that you appreciate? Um, wow. It's a very broad question. Yeah, right very, now. very broad question. Yeah. Um, what else is the there? The people, the fashion. Do you like that, for instance? Yeah, I like the fashion, and I like the fact that I can, um, I can buy different clothes mm -hmm. since they're summer, spring, and you know, all the all they have all the seasons here. You know, in Thailand, it's just hot. It's hot all year long, <laughs> all year long. Yeah, sandals, shorts, t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here it's four seasons. So, so that's that's one of the things I like about Korea. What's your favorite fashion concept or style? I don't know. I think uh, I'm very Californian. Mm -hmm. So just like jeans, hoodie, like, kind of like sneakers, today, right? Just like, just like, like today, like you know, a hoodie. Yo, we're pretty much the same here. A hoodie yeah. too. <laughs> I, I I don't like to spend too much time dressing up, you know, before I leave the house. I just want to throw on something like appropriate, mm -hmm. and, comfortable, yeah, comfortable too, mm. and I'm warm. Like, like you know, it's it's cold right now, so I like to wear something warm, but you know, appropriate and comf comfortable. Mm. Um, if you uh, had to suggest mm -hmm. maybe a place or something to do to the visitors coming to Korea. Uh huh. For the first time, uh -huh. and many of our Catch the Wave listeners have a plan or a project to come to Korea one day. Mm -hmm. Where would you tell them to go, or what would you tell them to do if they arrive for the first time at Incheon International Airport? Where do they go? What do they do? <laughs> <laughs> um, come to wow. Seoul. Take come a bus. to Seoul first. Uh -huh. Oh, the bus, the the airport limousine is so nice. It, it takes is, right? it takes you straight to Seoul very quickly. And the seats are large. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I used to take it like when I go, when I used to go to the airport when I was you know before I made a debut and mm -hmm. everything, and it was super nice. And like it got there in like 50, 50 minutes. Yeah, about an hour. Yeah, about an hour. Mm -hmm. So you know, take that limousine to to Seoul and find um, a really nice 
Samgyeopsal place. place. <laughs> a nice Korean barbecue restaurant. Yeah, and just roll up that sum and just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some of you are eating right now. Bon appétit. We'll be back in the second hour, everyone. Stay tuned. We have Nikun of 2 p.m. And when we come back, we're also going to talk a bit more about your experience here as a foreigner okay. in Korea, mm -hmm. but also as a singer working as a member of 2 p.m. and also with your solo activities. We All also right. have a CD to hand out, so we're going to give you... Uh, Yes, uh, this CD actually tomorrow. I'll name the lucky winner tomorrow. We have two CDs here, so we'll be able to perhaps send out uh, two uh, CDs to our listeners. Mm -hmm. um, so you can participate right now. The question is, when did 2 p.m. debut? When is it? Send us your messages on arirangradio.com slash catch the wave and also on Facebook. Type in catch the wave and you will find our page. Now we're going to play a song uh, by 2 a.m., You know the guys of 2AM quite well? Um, yeah, we, uh, we pretty much grew up together in the company. So Who are you pretty closest close. with? Um, I think Jo Kwon and Im Serong. Mm -hmm. Serong Hyung. He's my <laughs> Hyung. Uh, we, we, we play a lot together. Okay. Yeah. Can you introduce uh, the song by 2AM? Uh, It's on, over there. The song is called Just Stay or 그냥 있어줘 by 2AM. Okay. We'll be back in the second hour.
2013 Jeju. Jaji Orum. Jaji Orum is a parasitic volcano found in Jaji village of Hangyang Township on Jeju Island. Jaji Orum is named for the thick paper mulberry forest that surrounds it, and it is considered to be one of the most stately and well proportioned parasitic volcanoes in the area. No matter which side it's viewed from, the angle of the slope and distance to the top is surprisingly similar. Another unique characteristic of Joji Odom is that the entire Odom is covered with trees, from the bottom to the thick line of trees around the crater at the top. In fact, the Joji Odom Forest was awarded the country's Forest of Life title in 2005 and Most Beautiful Forest in 2007. An opportunity to experience nature at its finest. Visit the lush forest of Joji Odom today. The color of my palm is strange. It tingles and hurts. I may have held a hot pack for too long. It seems to be a case of what's known as a low temperature burn. A burn? But the hot pack wasn't very hot at all. Hot packs, electric mats, and other heating devices are frequently used in the winter. The temperature of these gadgets are over 40 degrees. If our skin is exposed to temperatures of over 40 degrees for a continued period, it will get a low temperature burn. Your skin will turn red and develop pigmentary deposits. In worst cases, your muscular tissue and nerve system can be damaged. Then how can we safely use heating appliances? Maintain a distance of over one meter. Also, it's better to set the time so you use the appliances for a fixed amount of time. Also be careful that hot packs don't directly touch your skin. Body dog. Body dog. Radio. Radio. Body dog Radio. The time is 7 p.m. <laughs> Thank you. you know, yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Still, uh, we had some time just to laugh. I think you're alive. Still, you're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> you're so <funny>. Exactly. <laughs> What's happening? Stay with us and let's have fun. Catch the wave. Here we go, everyone. We're here for uh, Catch the Wave, the second hour, and it's January 1st. We have a special guest in the studio. If you weren't here in the first hour, it's not too late. Don't go anywhere. We have <laughs> Nikun of 2 p.m., and it's an exclusive for you, our listeners uh, of Catch the Wave. So here we go, Nikun. Thank you very much for uh, joining us once again. Can you please say hello to our listeners and maybe to the fans of 2 p.m. and your fans as well? Okay. Hey, guys. Um, welcome back to the second hour, and um, it's New Year, so mm -hmm. I wish you all the best year ever. That's right. Do you want to say that in Thai, maybe? Uh, okay. For the Thai listeners, we maybe have some Thai listeners over there. สวัสดีครับทุกๆคนนี่ผมคุณนิชคุณครับ So basically he said thank you very much happy new year and I wish you all the best uh, and a lot of health You're so good <laughs> How did you know that No ขอบคุณครับสวัสดีครับ <laughs> Wow that's that's nice Yeah No what did you say That's what you that's said That's what I said oh, exactly. that's, that's what he said Okay so there you go welcome back we're here for some fun uh, we're talking to him because he is of course a very big uh, popular celebrity here in Korea but thank he's you. also traveling all over the world and we want that cultural aspect that's mm -hmm. probably why we invited you and not any other celebrities uh -huh. because you have that international spec right uh -huh. uh, and you are from Thailand but you were cast in LA you uh, had your training period here in Korea uh -huh. you started your activities back in 2008 um, and now you're very busy with the group but also with solo activities not only you know as a singer but also a as an actor right mm -hmm. how is that going Exciting? It's very exciting and very, uh, I don't know, I get nervous, yeah. excited, nervous at the same time. Because I want, I want my, my work to turn out very well, but um, due to my busy schedule, like I can't really do one thing at a time. <sighs> you know, I have to do multiple thing at the, things at a time, so it, it gets really confusing. Nikun, I understand. Guys have a hard time doing several things at a time. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're cursed. Multitask is really hard. We're cursed. I know. So, ladies, be gentle and be lenient. <laughs> Um, no, but yeah, very busy, busy, of course, with different activities. Uh -huh. Do you like singing or acting better? Um, they're very different in a way, yeah. but very same in the way. Really? Um, huh. Like you have to react, like, like with, with singing when I'm on stage, I, I have to react with the fans, not just, I, I, not just me singing. But with acting, you have to react with the other actors, you yeah. know? So it's pretty much the same in that aspect. Interaction? Yeah, interaction. The dialogue? But then, okay. When you're singing, you're not supposed to look at the cam. Uh, you're you're supposed to look at the camera, right? Mm -hmm. But when you're acting, you're not supposed to look at the camera. That's a big difference. It gets very confusing. Like when when I switch from acting to singing, like I was like, "Where's the camera? Where's the camera?" Yeah, I was like, "Oh, I'm not supposed to look at the camera," and it gets like the fans are like, "What's wrong with this guy?" You know. <laughs> Okay, very good. Well, we're here to talk a bit more with uh, with Nikun, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll continue doing so in the second hour. So stay tuned. You can also win some presents here. We have Nikun, and he very kindly brought us two signed CDs here of uh, Two PM Grown. Tell us when exactly was this album released? It was released um, last year mm -hmm. in, I believe, May. Okay, so there you go. Or something. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Around that time. Grown is the title of that album. We played actually a song from this album earlier in the first hour. Uh -huh. If you want to win it, everyone, send us your messages on arirangradio.com and also on Facebook. Find our page, Catch the Wave. The question is, when did 2 p.m. debut? Okay? Uh, you can do it now, and we'll continue on with the program after this song break. Are you close with the other um, members of JYP? Um, we're all pretty close, uh, you know, like with Miss A and, um, you know, 2 a.m. Yeah. And, you know, we sometimes, we, you know, we hang out and whatnot. But since we're all so busy, yeah, of course. we barely get to see each other. How are they, Miss A? We're actually going to play a song okay. by, by them. Um, Susie, uh, Faye. Faye, Jia, and Min. Who's your closest friend? Probably Min. Min? Um, I saw her when, you know, during the audition back in 2005. Wow. She was like 13 or 14. Whoa. And So you go way back. Yeah. So uh, you know she's from she's from Cal uh, she used to study in uh, California and in New York too so you know she's an English speaker mm -hmm. so I, I think that's why we're we're closer okay but I mean them as a group they're very talented and they're very yeah. good on stage you like their song Hush yes <laughs> <laughs> we'll play it for you right now the opening song for the second hour stay with us Nikun from 2 p.m. is here on Catch the Wave this is Miss A Hush. Hush. 숨소리가 들려 yeah. 몸이 녹아내려 yeah. 견딜 수가 없어 
Everybody, do you want to catch the wave? Well, here's how to listen in on the show. If you're in Jeju Island, it's 88.7, 88.1 if you're in Sogipo, and 101.9 in the Taejung area. For you DMB users, Arirang Radio is also available on Terrestrial DMB. And for you smartphone lovers, download the radio app for both iOS and Android free of charge. You can also find us on the internet at www.arirangradio.com. And last but not least, tune in again at 4 a.m. Korea time for a full two-hour rerun. Be sure to tune in wherever you are in the world, and let's catch the wave. All right, welcome back, everyone. You're not missing out. You're here with 2 p.m. and Nikun, Nikun of 2 p.m. Happy New Year to all the listeners once again. Nikun, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah? I'm happy to be here. Thank you very much for your time, of course. I know you're, you're a busy man. Um, tell us about last year, 2013. How was that? Um, I think 2013 was a very hectic year for me. Um, a lot of traveling, uh, a lot of um, different activities, you know, in different places. Mm -hmm. Thailand, China, Japan, Korea. Yeah. And, you know, we went to Germany to perform too and stuff like that. So, Whoa. Um, it was a fun year, actually. Very fun, very tiring, very um, hectic. Yeah, I th I think that's how I would put it. Huh. And what are you hoping uh, for the new year for 2014? What do you expect? What are your goals? Um, as much as I want to rest, I want to take a day off, mm -hmm. a vacation. But um, I hope this year I will be even busier with um, the activities and you know. Mm -hmm. I just want to make as much as I can while I still can, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't know when I'm going to fade away or, you know, when I'm going to fall down or whatnot, so... What a wise man. <laughs> no, but it's very true. I mean, you have to work right. hard when you're at the top. Uh-huh. And I'm not getting any younger, so... <laughs> it's so sad. I never, I never thought I would say I'm getting old, but I am. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry. You know, time works the same way for everyone. Uh, right. It's a fair game. Right. Uh, now, you've been traveling. You mentioned the fact that you went to Germany, mm -hmm. uh, Japan, Thailand. Now, while you're traveling, mm -hmm. how do you view the Korean wave? Hallyu. How do you experience it? How do you feel it? Oh, I think it's so amazing how Korean artists can capture so many... Um, attention and hearts of the people all around the world. Mm. Like, I'm not even Korean, I'm, and I'm really yeah. proud of it, you know? Like, I'm proud to be a part of K-pop mm. at this this time of this generation of K-pop, yeah. which is, like, at, this, at its peak. Yeah. So, you know, I feel good inside. Like, when, when, I'm, I, when I go to places and I see people put on like k-pop music uh -huh. and you know i when i see like korean writings on the on the buildings and stuff like that i i get excited i get happy you know yeah. it's like it's You're like proud. i yeah yeah like it's like i see thai writing in in korea wow i'm proud and i'm happy yeah, you know yeah, yeah. it's quite amazing huh this small country the small country korea is and the influence it has not only in asia right. southeast asia but i mean all over the world mm -hmm. it's quite impressive right and 
And it's, of course, due to the hard work, the energy and the time, you know, all these celebrities spent working, training, mm -hmm. rehearsing, coming up with new songs, choreographies. It's actually not an easy job, of course. It's but not. The reward is fantastic, right? It is. And I'm. it's such an honor, honor for me to be a part of, to be able to be a part of this, this K-pop, you know, when, when, during this time. Yeah. And that means I have to work even harder. That's right. right. For your fans, for yourself, for your family as well. What What is your family thinking? Oh, they're so proud of me. Yeah. Which Which makes me even happier. Uh huh. Well, I love my pan. That's family. my son. That's my yeah. son. And it's like they're in Thailand watching me on you know on 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 the computer or on, or on TV, and I'm like, and they're like, that's my son, you know. <laughs> oh, that's out amazing. there in different countries doing this and that, which. That's the drive for me to mm. even work, work even harder, to be even a bigger person yeah. than I am today, you know. Mm. And the fans, of course, they probably send you of a lot of support, a lot of messages. Uh -huh. Do you have any memorable moments like fans that you remember still now? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I've, I've, tell, I've told the this, this stories many times, but... Um, tell us it all, was, the, all the craziest stories here. It was during... Um, Wonder Girls were doing a tour in in the states, uh, and I think it was, I don't remember if it was, San Francisco, uh -huh. but uh, we were we were performing and um, on stage. Yeah, out of nowhere, something flew up on stage and caught onto my foot, right? And uh -huh. while I was dancing, and I I didn't know what it was until I looked down. <laughs> so what was it? It was a bra. A bra. <laughs> yeah, like a, bra. a women's bra. Yeah, <laughs> and it caught onto my foot. And I was trying to shake it off while dancing. Like, oh, oh, get so away, like, get off me! I, I like I I um yeah, it was funny and embarrassing at the same time. Wow, a unique experience, <laughs> yeah. that's for sure. Very unique. Yeah. Ah, now, um, what's the difference? And mm -hmm. this is a, a general question. What's the difference between Korean fans, Japanese fans, and Thai fans? Is there any differences? Ah, uh, that's hard to say because mm. you know the fans. All fans love us the same, but okay. Let's say Japanese fans like their their culture. While watching a show or something, they will be a little more quiet, a bit more like a little uh, yeah, more calm, and they they listen to what we're singing rather than singing along. Like they don't like people. They don't like people next to them to sing along to us because uh, they want to hear our voices. They want to focus yeah. solely on the stars. Yeah. Right? Well, to Koreans, they they sing along, they dance like to ties too. They just stand up and they dance they and they cheer, yeah. right? They go. It's just a little different in in Japan. I think that's cultural difference. Yeah, but right. I mean, at first we didn't, we weren't used to it, so it's like, are we not popular here? What is what is going on? Yeah, like do they not like us? But then you know we started to appreciate what what the fans are doing for mm -hmm. us, you know. Okay, well, we'll continue our little interview here in part four. We're going to play a song right now. Um, this is, you know, you mentioned K-pop, and you mentioned how K-pop is becoming very popular all over the world. It's mm -hmm. maybe at its peak right now, perhaps. Uh -huh. um, you probably have many groups that you like. You mm -hmm. listen to a lot of K-pop in general? Um, I do. Um, and even before I was casted, before the audition, I, had, uh, I have a lot of Korean friends, and they used to put on a lot of k-pop music mm -hmm. um and one of the one of the uh one of the groups that i remembered was dynamic duel yeah um the first song i heard was probably ring my bell mm -hmm. and i was like they're really good at rapping and they always have like really good singers to feature for them so you know i started to i never really i was never really into hip-hop and whatnot mm -hmm. but um because of dynamic dynamic duel i was really into it and the song that I chose today is um, by Dynamic Duo, yeah. featuring Kim Bomsu. Mm -hmm. The song is called Good Love. Good Love. Good Love, and you dedicate it to? My fans. There you go.
넌 날개를 펴 지옥에서 날 꺼내줘 내가 힘들 때는 간혈이 네 어깨를 줘 작은 손으로 머리를 만져주며 불면증도 도망가 불 같은 나를 잠재우는 소방관 너 없인 그 어떤 공간에 있어도 무덤이 돼 떨어져 있어도 혼자라는 것이 부담이 돼 외줄 타기 세상 살이에 넌내 낙하산이 돼주네 어디론가 숨고 싶을 땐넌 락방이 돼주네 나 뭐라고 전한 뿌리고 넌 꽃이야 널 위해 어둠만 상대할 테니까 너 활짝 펴난 기도해 항상 네가 다 잘되길 영원히 해줄게 배주네 내 팔백에 앉아서 내게 그대 눈 감고서 바보 같은 날 위해서 영혼을 약속해줘서 내 금골 부셨어 그리고 아주 비싼 내 마음을 훔쳤어 다 갖다 붙였어 네 마음 옆에다 그 후론 가둬버렸어 사랑이란 섬에다 넌꽃 중에 꽃 내겐 그 누구보다 깊어 어퍼 중에 벗 우리 관계는 너무나 깊어 넌턱 중에 덧내 발목을 꽉 잡은 우리 사랑은 누구도 못놈 보는 벽 중에 벽 우리는 다투기도 해 서로 화풀기도 해 때로 남보다 더 차갑기도 해 얼음처럼 그래도 걱정 안돼 우리들의 관계 소주 한 잔이면 풀어질까 내 옆자리에 앉아서 내게 그대 눈 감고서 삶의 비틀거릴 때도 성공에 집착해서 성격이 좀 삐딱해져 술에 취해 비틀거릴 때도 넌 너무 착해 어쩔 땐좀 딱해 때론 난참 못되고 야박해 그래도 날 믿어 나 액시어 리더 숨이 내 허파를 떠날 때까지 널 위해 뛰어 누구다는 날 보고 미쳤댔지만 너와 함께 할수 있다면 난 미치고 싶어 누군가는 우리 손가락질했지만 어렵게 깍지낀 손 절대 놓치기 싫어 넌 죽어버린 나란 별에 다시 불을 붙였어 난 태양이 돼네두 눈에 오랜 장말 그쳤어 봄날의 향기처럼 풋풋한 우리 사랑의 숨결 속에서 난 다시 영원을 꿈꿔 What a nice song. <laughs> Good, Good love. love. Good love. Dynamic Geo featuring Kim Bum Soo. Do you know these guys? So you, you're you quite close to other K-pop celebrities as well, right? Um, I see them a lot, uh, but I wouldn't say that close. Mm-hmm. But we, we, we say hi. You know, we work together. I Because I, mean, I barely have time to hang out mm-hmm. with people, which is sad.
Yeah. <laughs> Too much work, maybe. Yeah. And it's hard because you, you all have different schedules, you know. Mm -hmm. You're off to Thailand, you're off to Japan. Then you, when you're in Korea, they're maybe like in other parts That's right. of the world, mm -hmm. busy with work, recordings, yeah. rehearsing, training, mm -hmm. all of that. Huh. You know, sometimes people think, oh, it's a beautiful life and it's amazing to be an artist, all that. But you also have the downsides, right? Of course. Um, Some sacrifices. One of the things is like, like, like let's say Christmas mm. or a New Year. Mm -hmm. I would like to spend it with my family. But, mm. like, you know, like, I don't have the time. They're in Thailand, too. I don't have the time to go to Thailand to just spend yeah. a day with them. So stuff like that, which is um, which is fine, really. But um, well, deep down inside, I'm kind of sad in a way. As well. Like, uh, But, I mean, I'm... Making them proud, so we, yeah. that's good enough, you know. You can't have the best of too many good things, you know. Every world, yeah. You know? There's always a downside and yin and yang. Yeah, <laughs> all of that it comes together. That's part of life. That's true. Um, so we just played a song by Dynamic Duo. Um, K-pop is is actually not only about idol groups, of that's course, right. but it's quite wide uh -huh. and. Our listeners and also, I guess, the fans all over the world, they sometimes ask us to play very um, unique songs. Or like so old songs. Sometimes a bit old, uh -huh. not necessarily like dance, mm -hmm. dancey songs. Uh, what type of music do you like personally? I like slow songs, um, ballad, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, songs do you ever sing that I can... ballad songs yourself? Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, Let's say you go to a norebang, you go to sing. <laughs> what What is your song? What do you do? Uh, of course, beyond all the two p.m. I'm sure you don't sing two p.m. songs. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to be honest, I suck at singing, so I don't go to norebang. <laughs> <laughs> You're more a dance, a dance. Player. Uh, yeah, I'm more. You're pretty the... athletic. Uh, yeah, I'm. I used Very. to be an athlete, actually. Um, I used to. Uh, be a badminton player mm. for you my still school. Play? I still play once in a while, but um, I used to play very, very co competitive, competitively. Yeah, uh, I used to go to like com competitions and tournaments and whatnot when I was younger. Mm. So you sweat a lot when you play badminton. Yeah, back and forth, side to side. Yeah, that's a hard, hard sport. See, you, you have to be the person who makes the other person run. <laughs> so you don't sweat them as much, you know. <laughs> right behind the net, yeah. and then right <laughs> way behind. <laughs> and then come and come forth. up a little more. Yeah, you make them run, huh? You play tennis, right? I play tennis. So uh, it's pretty much the same concept. Same concept, except the court is a bit bigger when you right. play tennis. Mm -hmm. uh, the racket is a bit bigger as well, but it's um, it's same thing. You have to hit something that is moving. It's very dynamic, right? And I love it. It's just yeah. sports are, are great. Yeah. Are great. I think so. And I think when you need a break, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. You know, go play sports with your friends. You'll feel much better, especially when you're stressed out, tired, mm -hmm. anything. Right. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, slowly end it here. Oh. Okay. Um, but tell us about your activities. I mean, what the fans can look forward to in 2014 for 2 p.m. for yourself as well. Okay. So us 2 p.m. We're starting um, a Japanese tour mm -hmm. in at the end of January through to April. Yeah. And then um, I think you guys can look forward to our new album, if not one, maybe two. When is it coming out? Do you know? Um, not sure yet. We're mm -hmm. working on it, but um, we're hoping to release at least one this year, and maybe we'll f finish it up with um, an Asian t Asia tour. Yeah. And and you can expect my uh, my Chinese drama, drama to come out in in July. July next summer. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't know how my acting was. Do you remember some of your acting in Chinese? Ren <laughs> Shini I I think I had something like that yeah? too. Nice to meet you. Stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> We'll make sure we look at you very precisely in detail <laughs> in that Chinese drama. Okay. Well, thank you very much anyways. Thank you so much. Our listeners, you can actually win uh, a signed CD here by 2 p.m. Uh, he brought it in, so we have to thank him, of course. And the question is, when did 2 p.m. debut? If you have the answer, make sure you hurry up. Visit arirangradio.com slash catch the wave. Use the message board. We will name the lucky winners uh, tomorrow. So you have to tune in again tomorrow if you want to win these. Uh, CDs um, and I guess we'll wish them a great year right right once again a beautiful new year to all the listeners Nikun thank you very much for thank coming in thank you so much and good luck with all your activities we'll talk to you soon again thank you yes the last song is a song by 2pm can it's you called introduce it dangerous are you dangerous no not at all that was Nikun from 2pm everyone we'll be back very soon yes take a listen 
Hey, how you doing? I'm not fine. That's right. Yeah. 